Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, up, Grab girl? my glasses, I'm out the door. I'm gonna hit this city Let's before go. I leave. Brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. When... Who are you sending me emails to? I'm telling the students they're not going to graduate until 2017. Hello, this is Carney Soto. Yeah? I told you to download Illuminate. You need to download Illuminate. Bye. today with our typical cartoon. So we have a granddaughter here and she's bringing his grandpa a cup of tea. And she says, with, with your cup of tea, I brought you cookies too. He says, two? Clearly, he's not understanding the difference between two and two. Do you guys, you don't, you don't understand? Okay, so she brought him cookies also, but he thinks two, the number two. No, you guys don't get it, okay. Well, let's start with the question, do you know what aphasia is? No. Okay. Well, I just want you guys to know that if you do have questions, I really, I encourage you to look them up through the evidence-based research that is out there, instead of coming to me and asking me. If you look at the research and then come to me, I will greatly explain it that way. So how well do you think your students know the concept of aphasia? Oh, wow. Well, if we're going to go there, I, I just don't, I don't understand why they don't know. We have gone over this for 15 weeks. We have had our tests. We have had makeup tests. We have done this over and over. 15 weeks of aphasia, even through cartoons, through research. I don't know why they don't get it. Tag up, please. Emily, yes. Emily. So, what does what what does near target? Well, guys, what do you think? What does she target? Well, I was thinking like P, B, and cycle like for cycle. One. No, no. Garrett would not target bilabials early. Maximal pairs, maximal pairs, pig, rig, voiceless, voiced, liquid, stop. Oh, Dr. Boyce, what are you doing here? Well, you're not on the syllabus. I can just stay and watch. Oh, I guess that's fine. Well, when we're talking about articulation, we need to make sure that we're differentiating the different parts of the tongue. So, you cannot just say that this is the tongue. You need to be specific with which part of the tongue is actually making the sound. And so make sure you recognize that we have the tip of the tongue, the blade of the tongue, the dorsum of the tongue, and the root of the tongue. Hi, so I'm Dr. Leslie Razorbecker, and this is my little buddy. I just felt like bringing him to class today. <laughs> I just love cats so much. So I'm here to talk to you guys about emergent literacy and how language development and literacy is just so important in the early childhood education. And I just have to tell you guys, this just reminds me of this one time back when I was an undergrad, and I just thought...
anyway, so back to the topic of emergent literacy. Oh, I guess that's out of time. I guess the class is over, but oh my god, I'm just so hot up here. It is so hot in this classroom. Oh, jeez. Hey class, how are we doing? Yes, we're going to talk about the Canadian flag. And we're going to do this. We're going, everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. And we're going to sing the national anthem of the Canadian flag. Oh, Canada. Okay, class. Remember the International Classification Functional Disability and Health and Children and Youth? You remember that? So this is the part one. In the part two, what are the functions of part two? This is a rhetorical question. So what did the faculty first think about you? Well, originally, I think that they thought that I was African-American, but I fooled them. I fooled them. I, do, I am not African-American. I am Jamaican. We don't we have the same color, but I'm from a different culture. But I watch BET. I watch BET. I know how their heads move. I know how their head moves. So I fooled them. So no, never do that. Never do it. So tell me about your research. Oh, I really didn't do that much research. Uh, and basically, I just went on ahead. I had virgin daiquiris. I just chilled and relaxed, relaxed at my Jamaican place, and went to Canada for a little bit. It was so marvelous, so marvelous. You know, I'm already marvelous as it is anyway. So yes, I had such a great time, and now I get to teach these students all of my Jamaican heritage. Nobody can cross it. Don't who can understand it. Cross it. Nobody can. It's already locked. Oh. It's already locked. Just oh. make sure it's taking. Morning everyone, I'm sorry you have to be here today. I know it's really early. Um, so I'm gonna start off with a quote, you know, just to get you guys ready for the day. I know you're stressed because you're in grad school. So today's quote is, life is wonderful. Maya Angelou. That is so true. Oh, well, look at the time. You guys, it's time to go. Speaking of watches, I mean, who even wears watches anymore? Everyone I know, nobody wears watches. Who of you guys are wearing watches right now? Oh, really? Okay, um, that's, yeah, I didn't know that. I mean, but, but socks, seriously socks, no one wears socks anymore. I never see anyone wearing socks. Do you, who's wearing socks right now? Really? No way. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't know then. Where is everybody? I don't know. Carney. They should be here by now. You're the only devoted employee. I know. Oh God. So many hats. Hello. What? Hello. What's about? I was busy doing research. research. Hello. 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 Where's Sandra? Sandra. Right here. Do you know what we're doing? Did like nobody get the email about the meeting? No. Nobody got our emails. Our emails. Email. No. 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 no email. I didn't get one. No. no. Come on, guys. Be resourceful. Who could you have asked? Okay. So first on the agenda, we're. Go oh. Sorry, I was in the fetch lab. How y'all are? Fine, fine. Have a seat, Peter. Uh, first item of duty is having Judy Garrett come to campus to lecture to the students. I could be watching like three episodes of Seinfeld right now. This is such quality AAC time. Ba, 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 can you hear me? I could really use another pot of coffee right now. The best thing about animals is they can't talk. Man, I need a Valium right now. So I think happy hour starts at 4. So I'll have to be out of here by 5. By 5, that doesn't make sense. I wish my students were just as bright as I was. Nobody can across it. Don't ooh, can understand it. Well, what I think Dr. Craig had to say may not be what's actually happening articulatorily in the mouth. Oh my god, I just love Nancy. Isn't she just like the best speaker? I love her. I love her. Alright students, today we're going to talk about reading comprehension. 
But first, I just wanted to let you know, you probably won't recognize me tomorrow. I'm going to do brown with my hair because changing of the season has got to change your hair. Um, also, I have a twin walking around, so you might confuse us now because she, she works over there in MSB. I work here. So um, I just want to let you know that. And then I also wanted to give you a heads up today. Never, 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 never use flashcards. If you do, I will come find you and I will cry and I will kick you in the shins. Also, I wore this scarf last year to this lecture. It's my lucky scarf. So, <laughs> all right. I really love Dr. Kretschmer. He is my idol. He is the best. He knows everything. He's really good at making baby sounds. Ba, ba, ba. So funny. Um, everybody loves him. There should be more men like him in the world, but just not that many fish in the sea. All right, I know you guys are getting your shorts in a knot right now, but Dr. Kelschner really needs you to know this, all right? She pretty much sleeps with this stuff, all right? Now, this is the medulla, not medulla. I don't give a damn what Dr. Kelschner says. This is the medulla, okay? You have the tegmentum going up here, all right? And then you have the pawns right in this area, and I'll get a better view of this. But we're about to take an exam right now, so ready? I just need to take a Valium real quick. I just got out of the staff meeting and it's, it's too much talking for me. Okay. All right, right now we're going over the map of the brain, frontal lobe, occipital lobe. Here's the premotor cortex. This is S1 right here, sitting right next to the parietal lobe. Here's occipital lobe. You have your cerebellum. Hey, Kika, how you doing? Hi, I'm good, I'm good. All right. So what did you do before class today? Well, I got up, I had a cup of coffee, took a shower, then I went and got another cup of coffee. Then I drove here, drank another cup of coffee, and I worked out. And then I saw like some of you guys there when I was working out. Then I drank another cup of coffee, then went straight to the fetch lab. I don't know why Pete drinks so much coffee. It's almost as bad for his vocal cords as marijuana cigarettes. Sorry I'm late, there was a sale at Nordstrom's. Alright, do you guys remember learning about Central 7 from Dr. Pete's class? Alright, make sure to do your MBS IMP homework. The dates are negotiable, but no texting during class. It's just my copy for the day. Okay. <laughs> class, do you remember the umbrella term of IDEA? Well, let's discuss it today. Natalie Denton, where are you? What do you think? Class, don't forget your IEP and ETR are due next week. Make sure you fill it all in. Make it up. Fill in every single blank on your own. So what's your favorite part about teaching? Well, you know, I really like bringing in props and candy and Last week I brought in a ball and threw it at somebody and it really caught them off guard. Hi, we're going to talk to you tonight in grad seminar and I'm Mrs. Breen and I'm here to just talk about practicum issues for next year. Um, we should probably know your placements by next week or so, um, but we just wanted to make sure that if anyone has any problems or concerns to come and talk to me um, and you know everyone will have a wonderful placement and we're just we're so happy that um, you will have this experience. All right, so I'm Mrs. Schmidlin from Down in you know, UC Clinic. So tonight we're going to talk about EBP. Have you all, have you all heard of EBP, you know, evidence-based practice? Okay, well, let me pull up my little PowerPoint here. Okay. Um, hold on. Um, oh, you know, I'll, I'll call. Yeah, it's not I'll call. It's, this thing never works. I mean, this room is supposed to be renovated. Um, uh, we, need a, we need a tech person to room. Uh, 235. Oh, yes, thank you. They're on their way. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, I guess the show must go on, but oh. since we don't have our PowerPoint, you know, you know, evidence-based practice, you know, it's, you know, why we do what we do, the research, so, yeah, that's... We never know why these rooms, you know, the electronics, the technology doesn't work, it's supposed to work, 
how are we supposed to get things done around here if our, you know, this is for, this is 21st century, it's, I have things to do in the clinic and it's not, it's a waste of my time. Okay, so now we're going to talk about my favorite topic. Uh, we're going to talk about the lamina propria, the vocal folds. Okay, so this is the lamina propria, and then we have the superficial layer of the lamina propria, and then we have the intermediate layer of the lamina propria, and the deep layer of the lamina propria. So what's your favorite part of the vocal folds? Oh, the lamina propria. <laughs> Do you guys mind if I get in your personal space? All right, I'm going to demonstrate a child requesting this doll. game is about to start in 20 minutes, so go home. I always have to let my students go early when there's a UC game. Love those bear cats. UC. Hello class. My name is Dr. Riegler. I know it's late. I had a long day at work. You had a long day in class. So let's get started so you guys can go home and get your drinks and I can go home and relax. So are there, are there any questions? Bueller? Bueller? All right, I'm tired, I gotta go. Because I'm pregnant! <gasps> yeah, I'm five months, can't you tell? So how are you gonna name your baby? Well, I think I'm just gonna have my students write up some names on the back of their test just to give me some suggestions. It is four in the morning. I need to send five more emails. Five more emails and now I'm going to bed. Five. <laughs> Three miles down the road is the Yalas River. Residents were forced to pay between $250 and $500 to cross as transportation was restricted to either a heavy duty vehicle or being lifted across. Right now, nobody can cross it. Don't who can understand it. Cross it. Nobody can cross it. Zoli is a man and a fish a woman. Just me. Nobody can cross it. Zoli who can manage the water. Zoli sat them come over. Are we around to help, help, help them? Nobody can swim. If you cannot swim, you cannot, cannot cross it. Nobody can cross it if we are on to hit them. Be resourceful! Who could you have asked? <laughs>